In this video, we're going to look at the normal distribution and how to compute probabilities in StatCrunch. So first, there's something called the normal curve. And the normal curve looks like this. So people often say it's bell-shaped. In the middle, we have a symbol, which we'll call mu, M-U. Mu, it's a Greek letter. And this is the mean. This is the mean of what's called the normal distribution. And then sigma is the standard deviation. So given these two things, uh, we have a normal curve, or we have what's called a normal distribution. So given the mean and standard deviation, we have a normal distribution. In the special case where the mean is 0 and the standard deviation is 1, we get what's called the standard normal distribution. Standard normal. And the key thing in all of this is that areas under this curve are actually probabilities. So areas under this curve are probabilities. Let's look at some examples of exactly how that's the case and compute some probabilities right away. So let's say we have the following. Let's say mu is 0 and sigma is 1. So in the middle you have 0. So we have the standard normal distribution. And let's find the probability that x is greater than or equal to 1.2. So in this case, you would go up here to the 1.2. You would draw a line. And then you would shade everything to the right because it's greater than. Okay. So to get the answer, you go to StatCrunch. And you go to Stat, Calculators, and then Normal. Then you left click. And then you enter the mean, so the mean in this case is 0, standard deviation is 1, it's the default, and you get this beautiful normal curve. So we have the p, we have the p, you just change this to greater than or equal to, type in the 1.2 here, and boom, there it is, 0 0.1151 if we use four decimals, 0 0.1151. If instead you were to ask a question like, what's the probability that x is less than or equal to 1.2, in this case, it would be the same picture, except it would be shaded to the left. So whenever it's less than, you shade to the left. Greater than, shade to the right. So all you would do is flip the inequality sign here, and boom, there it is, 0 0.8849. 0 0.8849. Sometimes you want the probability that a number is between two numbers. So x is between, say, 1 and negative 1. This is called the between probability. In this case, you just click the between button, and then you enter the numbers, which coincidentally, they're already there. How nice. This is 0 0.6826. Through and this actually shows you what the picture looks like, right? This area between negative 1 and 1 is the probability that a number uh, is chosen at random between negative 1 and 1. Uh, before we finish the video, let me just quickly talk about how you would use this in the real world, just, just for fun. Um, in the real world, all you have is data. So if you took a bunch of numbers and you made a frequency table and you turned it into a histogram and your histogram looks bell-shaped, then it's approximately normal. So you can use StatCrunch to answer questions about the real world. So again, in the real world, you have a bunch of numbers. If you take the numbers and you make a frequency table, you turn that into a histogram if your histogram is bell-shaped, you can apply everything you learn about the normal distribution to the real world. Um, that's it.